Welcome everyone, Sandra Alexei here from um, Game Changer, the YouTube channel, and it's based on the book called Game Changer, and it's the new model of relationships, keeping in mind the first relationship is with self. I'm also an astrologer and a spiritual and business coach. I have done other books, which you can check my um, personal muse. Uh, dot com is my website and if you go into the show me more underneath on the YouTube it'll be there there is also a press release and a trailer for the book and Game Changer is in chapters it's on Amazon it's uh, in audio ebook soft cover hardcover okay I want to thank you today um, this is wonderful because we're in the energies of the new moon in Virgo. And today we are going to talk about the autumn eclipse. Okay, so I would really appreciate it if you would like, if you would share, and if you would comment. If you comment, once a month I put all the names into um, a little hat or Thing, and I draw, and I just finished doing um, my free reading from last month for a gal, okay? And um, if you would like, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. So let's get on with today. New beginnings, okay? Um, new moons are all about new beginnings, and we have a new moon in Virgo, and the energies are about two days before and two or three days afterwards, okay? So I personally love the vibrant colors and the feeling in the air in the fall. Wow, it's a time to honor nature and all the beauty, the natural beauty in nature, the smells, the colors, the feels, everything about it. So on Tuesday, September the 22nd, officially marks the beginning of the fall in the Northern Hemisphere and the Autumn Equinox. It is a meaningful time of the year to honor the harvest, whether that be a real harvest of the things planted in your garden or the harvest of your efforts and intentions you set earlier for your life path. The word equinox comes from Latin and means equal night, referring to roughly the 12-hour day and the 12-hour night that occurs only on the two equinoxes, equinox days of the year. For the person walking the spiritual path, it signifies a time of year when we activate our new growth cycle as you become silent and rest and still, you allow space for your greater vision to emerge. It's like you plant a seed and you're silent and the seed comes up, okay? As we consciously link our awareness to nature's cycles, our understanding of our own cycle begins to deepen. Indigenous cultures recognized earth-based wisdom and understood that the four focal points or the cycles of the year were the winter solstice, the spring equinox, the summer solstice, and the autumn equinox are illuminated stages of an inner spiritual journey, a spiritual cycle that the cycle the individual takes within themselves. And it's like there's a portal open. We've got these energies coming in. All your life, you will go through cycles of growth harvest, death, and rebirth, just as in nature. Fall is the time of year that you can set up your internal space and make room for what is to come in the next year. You create fertile soil for your greater visions to go by becoming quiet and listening to what is trying to emerge from within you. It's not about listening to the chatter of others. It's about becoming aligned with the divine and listening from within. Taking the time to go within and empty out space, you are creating fertile soil 
for your creativity and greater visions. The changing seasons are key points in the cycle of life and nature. And within this cycle, many, many ancient cultures per perceived a powerful, deeper message for humanity, especially this year, what we've been through with 2020. So it's an incredible time to focus on this fall equinox to honor any abundance and shift your consciousness from one lack to one of abundance in some way through a small ritual or ceremony. Yes, we've lost a lot. Yes, there have been many changes, but it's now time to now say, okay, I need to count my blessings. What are the blessings? What am I grateful for? Okay? Such as lighting a candle, giving thanks, and speaking your gratitude for all that you are and all that you have. There may be celebrations that you can join. As the days get shorter and the nights grow longer, we descend into the darkness of the night and face our own inner darkness, the darkness within. Example, the ego and the subconscious to prepare for the birth of the light within, which is celebrated at the winter solstice. Excellent time to have a session or a reading now. The heart of spiritual practice is internal and it is usually invisible and unnoticed by everyone else. By enacting the spiritual with a physical ritual, we can both recognize and make concrete our spiritual process that is part of our reality as a person on the spiritual path. I encourage you to take some time, September 22nd, 2020, to acknowledge your life cycle and spiritual path. Now, this is a personal thing, okay? So you don't have to do it. You can go and join a celebration, but it's also a personal sacred. In doing so, you're honoring not only your growth and your light within, but the ancient wisdom that has served our health and wellness for thousands of years. Of course, we're in the new moon, the new moon with Virgo. It's all about self-care, honoring and taking care of yourself, making sure you have personal boundaries. In this time spent in thoughtfulness around the moment of equal light and equal dark, okay, I acknowledge my personal growth cycle and ask for harmony and balance to be the fertilizer in the soul of my life's garden. I honor the light in you that is the love of all things. Without your existence, the light of the universe would dim and all of existence would miss you. Many blessings, much love. As I said, a great time to have a private session or reading. Thank you for taking your time. And again, I'd appreciate if you'd like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you have a personal copy of Game Changer. And the first chapter is all about self-discovery. So it's 28 areas of 20 questions that you need to reflect because we're changing all the time. We're evolving and we're growing, especially this year um, with all of, uh, all of the different shifts. And so find your personal value, find your personal worth, go within. Great time to go and sit outside and be in nature and put your feet um, in, the, in the ground, feet in the earth, and ground yourself and take care.